said sometime this week. So far they haven't made it. That's what, she, that's what um, Pam Drake told me. So <coughs> we're still hoping. New business. Kathy? I don't have anything this week, sir. John? Nothing. Bill? No. Okay, no new business. Department heads. Please. Let's see, acquisition show. Let's see, I need to do uh, a new cruiser. Cream the letter. <laughs> um, Another? You know what? Another one I have fine. Um, I had to recently put some struts on the cruiser. We had some, uh, had one of the struts leaking. So Steve's Auto Repair in Washingtonville put the struts on the vehicle. And the bill has been submitted to Kathy after receiving the purchase order prior to. Um, a lot of suspicious activity being reported, which is great that the community is uh, starting to call a lot because they're seeing suspicious activity. Um, we are kind of quiet right at the moment, but the areas surrounding us are having a lot of break-ins, which are back on the rise. They seem like they come in cycles. But uh, Green Township, Beaver Township, Springfield Township, Goshen Township, it seems to be north of 14, which is, which is a good thing right now. They're experiencing a lot of uh, home break-ins, and always we have the, the scrap problems, and <laughs> that people are taking, but uh, people are, are calling a lot of them, responding to a lot of um, suspicious activity, car in my driveway, somebody should be, you know, at my neighbor's property when, when they're not home, so that's a good thing that, that's going on. Um, and the other thing I have is, I don't know if the, the board wants to take it under advisement or I'm just going to bring it up to you for an option or a thought here. Uh, as you're aware, August 26th, which was Monday at about quarter after 12, um, they had a gas leak at the intersection of State Route 558 in Grafton. This is the second gas leak they've had there. They've had the high utilities uh, oops out there. They marked everything, they flagged everything, and they still broke the gas line, which happened to be on the first day of school. The fire department was out there, along with myself, for over three hours, directing traffic, rerouting people, making sure everything was okay. I had to go along with Columbia Gas to different places to... They had to go around and relight everybody's pilot lights and just to make sure that people knew it was legitimate and everything. Um, <clears throat> I obtained a bill from the fire department for their services, um, which is for a fire pumper. They had three hours at $675, um, which they charged $225 an hour. A fire rescue truck at $150 an hour for three hours was $450 and $850 an hour for man hours, at 21 hours in man hours. For the three hours was $17.85. Total of $1,897.50, excluding my fire marshal hours. Um, I obtained all the information from the company. I didn't know if the board was interested in sending them a bill for reimbursement for the services um, or if we could send them the bill for to be re reimbursed. So I obtained all this information from the fire department and I can 
want you guys to ponder it, think what you want to do, or if you want to send the bill, I can provide all the information to uh, I can give these things quick happy. That's what you guys want to think about. It's kind of a mess because that was the first day of school, too, and uh, it was a big area to try to reroute all of We were close from Latonia Road to 558 and from Lodge to Farrington. They must have called Oops as soon as it happened, too, because I got a paper on it in there. And in parentheses, it says, gas is blowing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I heard it was marked. It, it was. was marked when they, was. And it was marked. They dug right where it was marked. You hit right on the paint. Yeah. Right so on the I mean, paint, right on the flag, right? It's the gas company's fault. No. Who, well, who, who was digging? The paving company. Yeah, the paving company. Dan, is the fire department requesting that the Board of Trustees is going to submit this bill? No, they're contracted. The fire department's contracted through us. But I didn't know if we wanted to get reimbursed. If, if we wanted to submit a bill for us, for Salem Township, to be reimbursed because we, we do pay the Tony Fire Department. They're contracted with us. So the money would come to the township. So we would. My, my question was does the board want to submit this bill to the paving company for us to be reimbursed to back in our fire fund that we pay Latonia in addition to my you know, fire marshal hours? Which is, you know, well, I was thinking by that. But the fire department's building them directly, are they not? No, they're billing us. I mean, they're, they're, they're contracted through us. They're but working. are they billing us? They're working out of our not, Nothing in we addition to them. our contract. Okay. But that bill right there, are they going to send that to the... No. no. Okay. Because it wouldn't it come through the village? No. Because, because. the village is overseas, the fire department. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, but, but it's covered under our contract. contract. They were contracted a service to take care of these things, but we could get reimbursed. Now, who would get reimbursed? The money would go back to the fire department. Unless they're billing us. That's no. my question. Yeah, I, I think the money would go back into our fire contract fund. Because that would, we're paying them for their service. Yeah, but well, I thought, I thought, by the way, that was stated, that they they were going to, the county of fire department was going to build the contractor and that you were asking if we should not bill for your services in your time. No, I was thinking that we would bill, Salem Township Board of Trustees would bill the paving company and the money would go into the Salem Township Fire Fund. I would say because we already we, contract with them. Well, maybe okay. before we move on this, I think we ought to find out what we should do. Again, it's just something to think because again, this is not the first time they've done that. This is our and again, our and again, it's a service that, in, in reality, the fire department, again, just being the state route, we should have had ODOT up to shutting the road down or the state highway patrol. Correct. But the fire departments, <clears throat> as you see there on the reports, they're getting called out more and more and more Perfect. to do more law enforcement stuff than they are doing fire. They weren't really there for necessarily the gas. I mean, it was nice to stand by initially for the gas leak, but once the gas leak was off, there was no issue. They used them more for traffic control for three that's hours to shut down. The, that's where they should have done that. That's when the state has become the state highway patrol or, you know, my issue. Um, or then the state highway patrol would have had ODOT come out and throw them barricades up right adjacent come out. Not that people listen to the barricades, but mm -hmm. teach you to put a fire truck across the road. But I would, uh, I would suggest that we run this by Andy before we do anything, just to get the money in the pocket, right, right off the bat. Well, yeah, I think that's, I think that's right off the bat before we get Kathy it. Kathy wants to write for an opinion. There. No, I'm not opposed to asking them to pay it, but we want to make sure it gets in. Okay, but we don't, we don't want to ask them to pay it. Oh, yeah, we don't include everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Tony will write the bill. No, well, I think Andy will better advise us <laughs> right. who to yeah. build what. But that's what, you know, I've always said all along, that the fire department should be able to build for that. Uh, yeah, I've said that well, before, because you know Columbia Gas is going to be building them. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know who, where, this is going to be something new here. Uh, we be better make sure we're ready for it. That's what I think, we should get an opinion from Andy. That's all that I have, sir. And Jason? <laughs> um, beginning of August, we got a paper from the county for free signs that they were getting rid of. We did receive, it was 24 signs, 25 signs, something like that. 
I didn't know if you guys wanted to send them a, like a little thank you or something. For the, the signs that they did give us. Actually, we've already stuck a couple of them up. Do you want permission to send them a thank you? Well, no. Yes, <laughs> yes you, have, you have permission. It was, it was nice that they, thank you, they did you. that. <laughs> it was nice that they gave them to us because 25 signs is a lot of money. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's not unusable. If you talk to Gabby, she might do that for you. Putting it out there. <laughs> I think that that's a good idea. And speaking of signs, somebody's been painting signs like crazy again. We just, I just had the county change the one at the bottom of Salem Grange, and it, mm -hmm. I don't even know if they made two weeks. We just changed ours. There's a lot of green paint going around for a while. And out on the McCracken, there's four signs right now. They call the police to come. Is it one area? or is it that Well, it's all the same flat black right now. It's over the whole town, Jeff. That it's just a, the, just over those are the only ones I've seen so far. It's a like flat black primer or whatever because Jason and I tried to take some off. I wiped the whole sign out. I had to go change it. Primer won't come off. The little carburetor cleaner took all the red off. Yeah. You'll take wipe the clean. Are serious? Yeah, it'll take all the lift of the paint right off and all the red. It's a white, just a pure white sign now. Well, it's not that white one in yeah. yeah, see, that's still what happened to it. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> there's, no, there's no way to lift it off once they do it. It's, some, it's some done. Paints, yeah, some done. paints, the WB will take it right off. I mean, it almost it like etched right into the red as soon yeah, as I sprayed it. We tried it WB on it yesterday and it wouldn't even budget. And that was one of the new reflective signs. It wasn't even the old ones. Uh, and the only other thing I have, we were talking about uh, this broom for the front of a unilever. This lady sent me a quote. It's a government purchase. purchase. Um, she sent me a quote for what the room does cost. Is it's the one here? that's actually attached. To the um, it's the one that's actually attached to a bucket. It sweeps it into the bucket. Just like the one we tried Just out. Just like the one we tried out. The other than it's a foot wire. It's it's the the unit loader. It's right on the front of the unit loader. You can sweep into the pan or you can sweep it like we do with the tractor. Either way, it'll be a either way. The bucket's got a double edge, just like our bucket has, where you can actually scrape with it. And it also says you can spread material, which I don't quite understand why you can spread material with the room. I don't know if you're salt in the parking lot with the room or what the deal is there, but it says there you can spread material. How this stuff about, I've seen them for sale, and I told Jason, just see what that thing is. Yeah, Seemed like a good deal. I'm like, well, it's a good deal. Well, then he answered, called up on them. Well, that deal like that. It's a much better deal. Yep. They want three, three, three. three. That's a five foot wide. This is six. Well, if you can see yourself fit, what, could, what, what are you thinking, Jason? What would we, if we got that, what would we replace up with? Yeah, I'd replace maybe a couple of things. It'll pick it up. It worked. The one we used over there worked real good. Where'd you try that? Over at um, Budget Rental. We had it out for sale, so we took our usual little room and tried it and yeah. see if it, how it worked out. And it ended up leaking hydraulic oil. So we told the guy to, you know, <coughs> fix the call. And it's been, it's been a few days since he, he talked to me. But he, he told me just call, see what a new one is just for fun, you know. So we were figuring six, seven yeah. thousand dollars. Yeah. Actually, the same one he has over there, brand new through state, is uh, 2500 bucks. And this one wider, which they told they actually told me that one that he has over there is kind of an odd size one. This is a more standard that everybody carries, the parts, the rooms, everything. He's, they said this is the more standard one, and it's 143 bucks more of a brand new one, which I was shocked. I figured 6000 6, dollars Oh, well, you guys even the rest of the I think that would be the way to go. Really do. We got a good skid steer. And that would be a lot handier than the old Ford. Control it that way. Well, it's just yeah. not the. And it sweeps it right in the bucket. Yeah. It's really basic. I mean, it's just a high level motor. When that old, old Ford come along, they didn't even have these. wasn't even a dream. No, <laughs> no, they weren't even a dream. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm all for doing it if the, the clerk says we can. If you're going to make the most of money. You make a motion, I'll second it. I'll make a motion. Well, all in favor say yes. 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 
Have read the favor for Jason. <laughs> you gonna take care of that, Jason? Yeah, I'll follow through with it. Never dreamed it was going to be that. I thought, well, that's a good deal. When you get to that price, I mean, it's hard. Well, I thought the other one was a good deal. Because when we was broke down one day, I called trying to rent one. Couldn't get one, and they wanted to sell it. What they ask you, eight or nine thousand dollars for it? Yeah, that's why we never went any further with it. Well, we thought there were these huge high dollar things. This is a brand name, right? We're getting. Yeah, yeah, that's the it's Bob. It's, it's like a Bob. That one. It's a Bob Cat or Bob Cat. Yes. Yep. I mean, it's kind of cool. What we want to try it. Where's the place at? Well, Where this is in North Dakota. The lady I'm talking to is in North Dakota. The machine company runs down Boston Town. Yeah, it's over at Lapo. Everything's butch at Lapo, and this lady's in West Fargo, North Dakota. Well, he had to go through there to the state. Yeah, she just deals with nothing. We'll have to get her quick because it starts snowing up there and we'll never get her out. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that fire's burning and everything out. Yeah, that's all I got. That's a bump. I thought so. Anything to sweep the office out? Yeah. Well, I thought maybe we could do the garage with it. I'd make a motion for here. The parking lot was nice. I'll stay in there. Is that it? That's a very nice one. Shoes don't get dirty when you get gas, do they? No. Did you try the new? I did. It was great. <laughs> oh, that's something else. Um, our roof won't be here Friday. Well, that 